experience? Well, just how we are position player-wise right now. Denji giving us two real good innings. Really gave our bullpen guys a, a night off, which was huge, and really impressed with how Denji threw the ball. Um, Somebody we don't know a ton about coming from a different organization. We saw him throw a couple times this spring. Never have, haven't pitched in AAA much. He did what he did last night. That was fantastic. So hopefully we'll see him back up here at some point. But we feel like we need this way we were pretty banged up to player wise to, to bring Mac back up here for a while. I know you when, when you sent Mac down, it was kind of a good consistent at bats. What have you seen maybe at AAA when he has had those consistent at bats? Well, whenever we've sent him back down and he goes, he kind of gets on a roll. Um, you know, it's, that's great. He's he's uh, you know he's playing kind of part time up here and not easy to do as a young player. Goes back down, gets every day at bats, four or five at bats a game, leads off games, uh, kind of get back in the groove and and uh, so we need him right now and and uh, you know it's good for him to go get the work in down there. What's the solution for a guy like that where he's kind of, the bat is too good for AAA, but he's not really getting consistent ABs up here? Like, what do you think the right answer is in terms of I think of it's just part of, that's part of professional sports, and um, everybody's going to get an opportunity at some point and, um, where you hope to get that opportunity, and, and, you know, we believe in max talent, so we think we're going to continue to give it to him up here. And, um, let's hope he runs with it. We've talked with Jorge Mateo about his defense. He's made a lot of improvements this year. What have you seen from him defensively? Well, oh, huge, huge strides defensively. Just the, one of the pregame work he's doing, the consistent um, routine that he's doing every single day, it's really, really helping him. Um, but also, you know, he's so athletic and his tools are off the charts. Just by playing nine innings shortstop defense almost every single game, it's, it's really at this level, which he hasn't done in a long time, I'm kind of getting back in that routine of playing every day, knowing you're going to be in the lineup. Obviously, today's an off day for him. I've been trying to get an off day for the, get to him for about five days now. Um, but being able to know that you're going to play, play shortstop, um, he's taking it, run with it, and, and really happy with how he's playing um, all around here these last few weeks. You mentioned maybe with him it's the routine play that he needs to make more so than the spectacular. Have you seen maybe strides in that facet of just the routine plays at shortstop or consistently being made? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it, for me that goes back to, to his pregame routine. That's all we practice really is just him um, making the routine play seven to ten minutes of of because um, he's going to make the great play, the flashy play, because he's because of his range and his arm and and how athletic he is. He's got a chance to make a play in the hole. He's got a chance to make a play up the middle. You see the the basket catches on pop ups. All these things that he can do that that a lot of guys can't because he's so um, because he's so fast. It's about playing shortstop in the big leagues on a consistent basis. The good ones balls at the shortstop, you're out. And and um, that's just what we've been working on every day. He's doing a great job.